Hey guys, CC Corey here, the North Florida Angler. On this trip, we're going to be light tackle fishing for inshore redfish, and really whatever else it bites. Also, guys, whenever you're fishing the creeks in the backcountry, it's a good idea to pay close attention to what the tide's doing and pay close attention to where the sandbars are, as you'll find out watching this video. Y'all check this out. All right, guys, I'm hooked up with something. Fighting pretty good. All right, I'm rolling. Don't know what it is here. I think it's a redfish, I think. Yep, I think it's a redfish. Fighting good. Oh, good run. Another good run. That's a nice one. He's digging, trying to go under the boat. There he is right there. Man. There he is right there. I know he had the net ready. Let me get back here and get the net ready here. Still running. I can get him now. I think I can get it. Let's see if I can get him. And I got him. All right. That was a good fight right there. Nice redfish. Nice redfish. Yep. Nice redfish right there. Yeah. Nice redfish. I'm sure that was going to be in the slot. But he gave me a real good fight though. Real good fight. There he is right there guys. 
Nice redfish. this one uh, for dinner for the night but uh, yeah pretty darn nice redfish Fish. There he goes again. Yeah, that's a good fight right here. I love these things. These things are fun to catch. Wow. Any size they're fun to catch. Okay, get him closer. Get him closer. There he is right there. And there he goes again. He is right there. Wow. Wow. Man. <laughs> That is a run right there. That is a run, guys. That is a run. And this has been a good fight right here. A real good fight. Oh, man. Come on, baby, come on. Start getting tired, come on, come on. I only got like 10 pound tests, so I gotta play them pretty, pretty gingerly. There he is right there, there he goes again. Man, does not want to tire out. <laughs> this is a good fight right here real good fight come on baby come on baby come on up there he is right there oh <laughs> come on now start tiring out wow 
Wow. This will not tire out. Come on, baby, start tiring out. Come on, start. Oh. <laughs> come on, baby, come on, baby. there. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. He's taking me way off the bank here. There he is right there. Yeah. He's about, he's about done. He's about done. About done. I need to start getting a net here. Ready here. Definitely going to be a net fish here, that's for sure. Definitely going to be a net fish. Okay, he's going to be able to slot, I'm pretty sure. Okay, babe, let's see if I can get you. Let's see if I can get you. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I got you. All right. Nice red fish. Nice redfish, guys. There he is right there. Oh yeah, that was a good fight. That was a good fight. All right, let's see if I can get this jig out of here. pretty one right there real pretty nice redfish okay I'm gonna go ahead and measure him and see how big he is see if he'll make the slot She goes. All right, that was fun right there. All right, guys, I'm hooked up with something. I think it might be a trout. Fighting pretty good. Be a nice trout. I'm not super sure yet. Well, I think it is. So. Yeah, it looks like a trout. And it might it looks like a keeper trout too. I think he's hooked good though. trout I just caught. Nice sea trout right there. Yeah, probably about a two pounder or so. Pretty fish. There he is right there. Too shabby. Yeah, there he is. There he is right there, guys. Not too shabby. Okay, let's see how long he is. I'm pretty sure he's going to be a keeper. to be yeah pretty darn sure yep and that's a 
He's almost 20 inches. Actually, he's 20 inches. A 20 inch trout, that will work. Oh yeah, wow, that is a nice one. But I've already got my limit. Wow, I just have to enjoy the fight. I'm trying to get out of the boat. Yep, putting up a good fight. That's a nice one. Yep, that is a nice one. Definitely is a nice one. Hit that jig and shrimp. Okay, I think he's about ready to be netted. About ready to be netted. Come here. Come here. Gotcha. All righty. There he is. Oh, yeah, that's a nice one right there. That is a nice one. Where's that jig at? It's way down there pretty deep. I think I can get it, though. Real pretty redfish. That's a real nice one right there. Real nice one. Yeah. There he is right there. Pretty one. See how long he is. Yeah, I'm gonna let him back go. I already got enough to eat. Okay, we've got a 20, 23 and a half.
gave me a pretty darn good little fight. There he is right there. You know, pretty little fish. You know, nice little fish. There he is right there. Pretty one. Well, I'm going to go ahead and throw him back. Well, guys, you're probably wondering, how did this happen? Well, I must have taken a wrong turn at Albuquerque or something. But, uh, yeah, you're right. I'm, I'm, I'm high and dry. You know, high and dry. I've never had my boat completely out of the water like this before. But uh, it's uh, an interesting situation. There it is right there, completely high and dry. Right there. And uh, uh, that's interesting. But uh, what happened, this sandbar, it was underwater, of course, when I ran into it. I actually was, this is where I came through at right here. You can see where the prop went through here. And then it got stuck right here. I was able to get out of the boat and push the nose out toward deep water, but I couldn't, I couldn't budge the back of the boat. It was, uh, it was stuck and the tide was going out really fast. So nothing I could do, but just uh, sit it out and, and, and wait it out. And I've, been, I've fished a little bit here on the, uh, and I caught a couple bonnet head sharks. So, you know, it's, I've had something to do, but uh, yeah, it's not a good situation at all. It's not a good situation to be in, you know, and you know, I mean, I've been catching some fish, you know, I've caught five redfish, I got two flounder and I caught two sea trout. And uh, just going around checking out some of these creeks, you know, that I hadn't fished in a while. And uh, I forgot about this sandbar being right out here in the middle. I thought I was safe. It's kind of a pretty much a straightaway here. It has a bend there and it has a kind of a straightaway right here. And I kind of thought that this, I was okay, but evidently not. So uh, anyway, I just got to wait for the tide to come back in, guys, and then uh, we'll head back out. But uh, there it is right there, guys, completely high and dry. The front of the boat had like five, six feet of water, sand right out in front of it. But it's, it's starting to come in now because I can see the water starting to touch the front of the boat now. So hopefully I'll get out of here fairly soon, hopefully. But uh, there's the situation, guys. We'll uh, CC Corey, the North Florida Angler, signing out. All right, guys, I'm hooked up with a big old bluefish. I just saw him. He's a monster bluefish. A monster bluefish. Big old giant bluefish, and he's running like heck. Big old giant bluefish. Probably the biggest bluefish I think I've ever had hooked before. He is a monster. I see him out there. I gotta be careful he doesn't cut my through my leader. Hopefully he's not doesn't have to plug too deep and hit a rattle trap. Big old bluefish.
Wow. Yep, big old blue fish. Come on, baby, start wearing down. Start wearing down, come on, come on. Man, this is a good fight, I'll tell you that much right now. Good fight. Doesn't want to tire out. Does not want to tire out. My biggest bluefish ever right there guys. My largest bluefish ever. Wow. Look at that monster. There he is guys. My largest bluefish ever, there he is. Big old sucker. There he is right there, guys. Yeah, big old sucker. There he is right there. Yep, my largest bluefish ever. Yeah, there he is. Maybe I'll be able to catch some more of them, but uh, he's pretty nice. He's probably gonna go seven or eight pounds or so. He's pretty, he's a pretty good sized fish. There he is right there. Yep, there he is. Yep. 
Big old blue fish, guys. Big old blue fish. Stop it. Stop it. Settle down, settle down. Nine pounds. Nine pound bluefish, guys. A big old nine pound bluefish. Yep. All right. Well, guys, even though I spent half the day stuck on a sandbar, I still managed to catch a few fish including my personal best bluefish. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and don't forget to subscribe to the North Florida Angler. Until next time, tight lines, good fishing, watch out for those sandbars. We'll see you all out in the water.